Hello music lovers and audiophiles. Welcome back to another video. This video is extremely precious to me and I'm going to try not to break down while filming this. But I, um, I got a Christmas gift that I didn't think I was going to get this year. And the gift is a set of Odyssey LCD XCs, the 2021s. And uh, they're a gift from my late father. He passed away four months ago. And there was an asset that I didn't realize he had that sold. And I was given a little bit to spend for Christmas on, you know, from him. So I wanted to do something that connected us. Uh, he was a musician. He played guitar. And he uh, was a sound man in our church growing up back when I was religious. <laughs> and... Um, he had a turntable and a little Sansui integrated, and he was a little audiophile um, on the down low. And uh, I wanted to get something that every time that I listened to a song, it would connect us. And um, I, I heard these a year ago at a local audio store, and I fell in love with them. Uh, and I just lusted after these things. Now, th that's kind of what triggered my my curiosity, you could call it, into getting into headphones. As you guys know, I have my big rig, I have my computer audio system, um, I have my Sennheiser HD600s, and after I heard the Odysseys, I dusted off the HD600s, which I hardly ever listened to, got that Kimber cable Axios uh, uh, for them, the uh, headphone cable from Kimber, and uh, started listening, and it really kind of revived my, my, my passion for mobile, or, or headphone listening, especially after hours in the apartment after about 11 o'clock. So um, as good as the HD600s are and were my, kind of my reference, a lot, to happen, a lot of technology has happened in six years. So um, I ordered these because my, dad, because my dad let me have this for Christmas this year. I know his spirit's with me. So I wanted to unbox them with you guys and share this with you because I don't do reviews really. Uh, everything that I've reviewed or open boxed or, or, or shared with you is in my system. Uh, products don't come in for a review and that I send back. So I'm a little bit different when it comes to audio channels. But uh, I, I wanted to share this with you guys. It's funny, they actually have, they actually, they're cold from being delivered because it's freaking freezing out. It might rain. So let me grab, let me grab a, a lens cloth and polish them off. Oh my God, these are beautiful. So I went with uh, the vegan pads, vegan leather pads, because a lot of the guys were saying that they sound better with these and that they don't get hot. But here they are. And again, I'm not looking at the screen, so sorry if it's not coming in clear. Hopefully it is. The weight on these is not bad at all. Uh, I shouldn't have any problems, I'm a big dude. And I also got the, the upgraded headphone band, headphone, the upgraded headband, which is carbon fiber. And this thing is like, there's no weight to it. I don't know if you can see the weave on the camera or not, but it has perforated holes on the leather. But I'm gonna swap this out and have it have it match the carbon fiber. I'm so excited about that. Okay. This also came with one cable, which is really nice actually, but I'm, we're gonna open another cable as you'll see in a minute. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's that's the headphones. Oh, in this case, I'll tell you what, I know there's a case that's above this one, but for what this is, this is overbuilt in my opinion. This is terrific. I can't believe this came with it. Not just a, a cardboard box, but an actual display, really nice display. Hopefully you guys can see that and I'm sharing it with you, right? Hopefully the angle's good, okay? So, Now that that's out of the way, this, thanks to Kimber Cable, they know me very well, they know my story, and they wanted to help me out with this gift, and so they offset some of the cost of these cables. 
And I thank them for that. And my dad thanks them for that. But I got the upgraded uh, Kimber Cable Axios HB. It is uh, half copper and half silver. It's a hybrid cable. It's $3,850 um, before tax. So it's like over four grand for the tax. Now, this video isn't about qualifying the cost of cables versus headphones and do you get do you get four thousand dollars better better you know sound you know all those all those and you know, all those comparisons they really don't impress me they kind of go over my head at this point in, in in my hobby and where i'm at because i've had a lot of nice cars bmws porsches jaguars and i know that you can spend four thousand dollars on an exhaust to get 10 more horsepower on your car okay um to reduce the weight and to increase the airflow and to get that 10, 15 horsepower, whatever it is, you can spend 4,000 on a, you know, these titanium exhausts and stuff. So it's not about that, right? It's about increasing the performance of what you have to the highest level you can get it at. And for this gift from my father, it's priceless. And these are the last set of headphones that I want. Uh, they're carbon fiber, the carbon fiber headband, um, the planar magnet technology, uh, planar, planar, tomato, tomato. Uh, the, the the connection with these and what I heard and how I felt when I put these on a year ago at the audio store, I, 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 I wanted for nothing more. So this this is it. For me, this is an end game headphone and this is an end game cable. And together, I'm going to have a portable system that's around, what, 53, 5,500, if you consider the cost of the headphones, the cable, and, and my, and my uh, audio quest Dragonfly and, and Tidal, uh, you know, and, and, and also being able to use it with my big systems as well, because I have an adapter. Um, I've got 60 grand in the big rig. I've got 10,000 in, in, in the computer audio system. This is five. It's all uh, quantifiable and scalable uh, on how much I spent and what I can use it for. So uh, this really, to get this kind of sound quality that matches my big system for five grand when I spent 60 on that, come on, right? There, there's no way to qualify that. So that being said, and I'm only saying this guys because I get attacked all the time on the channel. Anytime I share anything with you guys that I'm passionate about or I love, people treat it like politics or religion and want to uh, be haters and spit venom when you're just trying to share your passion and your hobby with others. That's why I, I qualified that about the uh, spending money. So here they are. These are the beautiful Kimber Cable HB Axios. And I did get it with the uh, quarter inch and then I got the 3.5 adapter so that I can use this with my cell phone or with my Macintosh over there or the PS Audio. So uh, it is just stunning. Oh, I haven't even taken it out of the box for you guys, guys. I got this a week ago, but the headphones got, obviously with Christmas, got delayed three days. So I've been going crazy wanting to hook these up. So let me get out the stock cable. Yeah, everything matches up perfect from the stock cable. So these actually clip in their four pin. That's really nice. My Sennheisers are only two pin. And then I have the quarter inch with the wood Axios printing on the side. I think that's gorgeous. Uh, very light, very flexible. I'm very happy with this. They, uh, as you guys know, oh, I got a nice carrying bag with that. I've never got that in any other Kimber cable products. So as you guys know, um, they hand make their products to order. So this was just made a few days ago and shipped to me. And of course we have the, the, the wax seal on here, which is so cool. I love this. You have the certificate of authenticity with the wax seal again. I just think that's so awesome, man. These little touches are so cool. Wow. And then of course we have some literature on, on all the, all their other products. So that is the headphone cable. Now I did order the adapter and I didn't want to get a cheap adapter. So I had them custom make me the HB in a pigtail for the 3.5. Pretty cool. Really excited right now, man. Trying to keep my cool, but I just never thought I would get to this level of headphone listening. 
So again, the same box, same literature, same carrying case. They spare no expense. And look at the quality of that salt. Is that salt aluminum or solid steel? It's pretty light. And then there's the 3.5. 3 I don't have anything that's balanced. I, I just, again, I haven't got into it that heavy where I'm going balanced. I mean, the, the Macintosh and the PS Audio are quarter inch and my uh, uh, AudioQuest Cobalt is, is 3.5. So I don't have any balanced, so I don't need that. I can always change that in the future. But this is the pigtail. And so uh, actually, why don't we plug it in? Just like that, solid. It's not going anywhere. And now I can use it with my Cobalt. Wow, that's a really nice connection. Okay, so I will uh, treat these with my um, uh, contact cleaner. Uh, again, contact cleaner from the UK. It's what I use on all my stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll purify these. We're gonna switch to black. I'm gonna put 200 hours on these and I'm gonna come back and give you my audio file impression uh, from a headphone perspective instead of CD players and DACs and speakers and amps and turntables and computer audio. We're gonna discuss how I think these sound compared to my big setups. Again, my, my Sennheiser HD 600s are old and they're old technology, but they're still, they just kind of did everything well. They were balanced and I could listen to them for four hours and never, they never get heavy or, or hurt me or hot spot my head. I, I did upgrade the pad from the HD 650s. But um, it, it's such a good reference or, or, or baseline for me to go off of, of what I like. So we will see if these are too bright or if they're too bass heavy or how the mid range is uh, over long term listening over 200 hours. And then I will come back in, in a moment. So. Thank you guys, and I'll be right back. And we are back. And uh, before I get into the review, guys, uh, there are two parts to this, obviously, with the unboxing and then the, the listening impressions. So this video may, may be a little bit longer than my normal ones. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, but before we go any further, I wanna give it a shout out to Z Reviews on YouTube, uh, Zeos Pantera. Um, hey Zeos, this is my uh, anime girl, Darkness from Konosuba. Um, uh, I'm a big anime fan, live on Crunchyroll, so uh, I like that we have that in common. And guys, the reason I brought up Zeos' channel um, is not only because he had a, a Megalamine screensaver up on his uh, uh, computer during one of the reviews, but uh, because uh, he, he reviewed these, and he reviews like I do. Um, he's very emotional, he's very connected to the music. He doesn't talk so much about, about the, the, the stats or, or, or measurements. He talks more about how do these make me feel? Is this something I would want to own and buy? Is this something that's going to go in my collection? And that's how I am when I purchase stuff for me. It's that emotional connection. So um, now we do have our different philosophies on power cords and interconnects and speaker cables. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy his channel and he's funny as hell. I, I bust out laughing out loud so many times. So if I'm ever in a kind of a melancholy mood, boom, I turn on Z reviews. So all of you who uh, listen, are listening to this probably already follow him. But for those uh, of you that don't, it, it, it's, it's like listening to freaking uh, uh, Iron Man talk. He's got that same uh, delivery and same character and humor. It's hilarious. But um, uh, so, so, so enough about that. Now, going into the review, um, what he did say was that uh, he could see why these would be the last headphones that an audiophile would want to own. And he is correct in that. Um, uh, uh, the sound differences, just to let you know, this is going to be my baseline because this is what I have, the HD 600s with the Kember Axios copper cable here. This is kind of what got me back into headphone listening or intrigued in enough to uh, check out other brands and check out higher level of headphones once I upgraded that Axios. So um, the difference between these two for me, since these are what I own and what I compare to, this is like a feminine presentation. This is more masculine. This is like my Jaguar XK. This one is, is, is like my, my, my Porsche um, 911 Targa that I did, I did an 84 Carrera engine swap in. Extremely visceral, extremely uh, exciting, and everything's at your hands, nothing's power. Um, it's just raw, you're just there um, uh, when, when, when you're driving that car. And, and uh, I'll tell you, sometimes when I got done driving the Porsche on a, on a uh, Porsche Club run, 
uh, I'd be exhausted when I got back in a good way. Um, I would just feel accomplished. I feel like I did something like I ran 10 miles, but I was driving. So that's the difference in presentation. This one's fifth row. This one's you're on the stage. Um, this one I can fall asleep uh, listening for 20 minutes. This one keeps me smiling ear to ear for an hour and a half. Uh, now that being said, the presentation itself isn't like a raw 911 air-cooled Porsche, okay? It just makes you feel that way in the performance. This is more like a Bugatti Veyron where you can cruise around um, at low speeds and just perform wonderfully or when you give it the gas it takes your breath away and it can just punch it as that raw torque and that that um, attack right uh, the 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 foundation the rumble the lows uh, uh, you know when you hear that engine spool up and go now th that's how this is so uh, using analogies is good for me because that's in my mind how I compare things so I hope that gives you a difference between the two um, you know, I had no idea going from a $250 headphone to a $1,500 headphone uh, what would, would uh, make it sound like I had El Crimine, Sonos Fabre El Crimine's on my head, $50,000 speakers and a $1,500 package. But that's what happens with headphones. I have read that before and didn't believe it or kind of turned my nose up to it because I had my large system and I shouldn't have. Because truly to do the room acoustics and the, and the speaker size to get this kind of detail and presence and and, and, and just imaging and, and it, the only thing that's different is soundstage, right? Soundstage in, in an open system really has the room reflections and it kind of sounds like you're, you're listening to the live performance on the stage. Believe me, I'm not gonna get rid of my big rig. It's a whole nother experience, not better or worse, just different. So, um, but that's what this headphone did. Um, the customer service on this was incredible. Um, when I called Odyssey before I purchased these, they were incredibly helpful. They answered the phone on the first ring. Even one time I called tech support to ask a question and they didn't answer and I hung up and they called me back in five freaking minutes and said, sorry, we missed your call. That's sick. That is Kimber Cable level of service. So, um, you know, now I found two companies that treat you like you're, you're their only customer and that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, and, and the one the reason I did call tech support, I'll, I'll tell you, you guys might want to know this, is that when you touch the, the ear cups, you get some crackling, like static. And that is not a loose connection or anything wrong with the headphone. It's the air from the diaphragm um, on the planar. It's the air going through the diaphragm that makes that ticking. And it stops as soon as you stop touching it. And it doesn't do it all the time. It's very interesting. So uh, nothing wrong with the headphone. It's, it's supposed to do that. Um, so we, 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 covered, we covered a couple things, um, the, the, uh, the sound, the, the difference between them, the customer support. Uh, I, I want to talk about the weight. So the, the weight of these, um, oh, 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 I'm going to go back to one more thing. I put these on at midnight after having 250 hours on them. I couldn't listen to them before that. The burden time is ridiculous on these. It, it, it sounds shallow and the, the mids were kind of cold and recessed and the bass didn't, didn't, didn't sound deep and the highs were stringent. Uh, as, I, as I put it on for a minute or two listening through the course of the burn-in, it just kept getting better and better and better and better. And no, my ears didn't get used to it because I didn't sit with it on. I would put it on 30 seconds, a minute and go, no way, put, take it off. Then I would put it on and, and I'd hear things start warming up. I know a lot of it had to do with the silver cable. These take a long time to burn in. They're notoriously long, about 230 hours on silver. And that, at least that's how it was in my big rig. So not all of that could have been burning on the headphone, but with this combination. Okay, so, so give it 250 hours. Don't judge it until you give it time. Uh, the weight, we're gonna talk about the weight. The weight of these, uh, when I unboxed them and I I'd set, put them on for a minute, I think I told you they're not too heavy. They are. Uh, and, and not so much heavy, but weighty, top heavy. These aren't a headphone I will wear on the light rail going around Seattle or on a plane flight or take them on vacation. These are my stay at home after 11 o'clock, kick back on the couch and listen headphones. Okay, you, they're just too cumbersome. They're too big and heavy. Let, I'll show you. I feel like the, uh, the guy in Star Wars in the Cloud City and Empire Strikes Back, um, Lando had the, the guard that had the big white um, ear cups and he, and he opened the gate and the door for, for everybody. That's how I feel with these. So they seal real good. They're very comfortable. They don't hot spot my head. You know, they're not bad at all, but yes, they are a cumbersome or large headphones. So mobility is not that good. They don't hurt my neck or anything, but I just wanted to again, qualify that, that some of the reviewers said that these are heavy. 
Um, I did upgrade the headband. This is the 2020 version. Now, now we're in 2021 or 2022. Um, you know, I can't remember if they upgraded these in 20 or 21. But anyway, it's got the lighter uh, gram weight on these and still you can feel it, okay? So um, I wanted to just qualify that as well. So the, the impressions I had of this, like being on a motion ride at Star Tours, right? <laughs> right on the stage, Rev Visceral. You know, it, 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 it all happened when I was reviewing with this, okay? As soon as I took this out and put the factory cable in, and the factory cable is very nice quality, don't get me wrong. But when you're going from that to this, everything collapsed. Every, uh, that, that, that sense of detail and the, and the imaging and the, the textures and details, everything I was getting out of this cable went away and just kind of went like this. Kind of like I was listening in a can or a Dixie cup with a wire to my friend's house and we're talking to each other, right? It, it, it wasn't anything good to me after hearing this. So my suggestion is this. This only costs $4,000 because it's three meters. If you guys are just gonna get a, a uh, you know, something to your desk or, you know, a one and a half meter, it's, it's gonna be a lot less. Uh, if, if, if silver hybrid isn't what you want, get one of these. This won't be very much at all for, for a meter. Okay, I think it was a grand for three meters. So you're gonna get a lot, a lot more upgrade and, and, and performance out of this headphone, getting rid of that stock cable. Again, you may be okay with it, but I'm just letting you know, you may wanna borrow a friend's or even if it's not Kimber Cable, another brand, and just see what level these headphones can go to. And I love that they did that. I love that Odyssey gave you the option to upgrade your cable. They even sell an upgraded cable on their website, matter of fact. I think it's around, I, I can't quote it, four, four, four to $600. But even they know that, these, that the performance in these can be increased with a better cable. So just keep that in mind, okay? So uh, we covered the cable, we covered the weight, we covered the differences between the, the, the headphones, uh, how this performed and how it made me feel. Um, listening at 12 o'clock at night and then and then looking over at the clock and it's 1.30 in the morning and an hour and a half went by like this and I was still up smiling. I, I had to peel them off my head. I didn't want to go to sleep. Where with the Sennheiser, I'll be asleep in 20 minutes as soon as I put them on. It's just a soft, open, uh, uh, soft, open presentation. It's very smooth and just laid back and it just kind of lulls me. This makes you go, whoa, crap. I can hear, I can hear the jazz performer on the piano and the trio humming. I can hear a knuckle hit on, on the uh, guitar. I can hear the echo uh, 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 of a backup singer. And, and I thought there was one and there's two singers. It's a freaking spotlight on the music, guys. Not etched, not detailed, not wearing, just extremely accurate, extremely transparent. Textures galore. I mean, that these sound like real instruments going on in your head. So I'm gushing about this freaking headphone because obviously I lost it after it for over a year after hearing it at the local Seattle store here. And this is a gift from my father. And, and uh, man, I'm just so, so blessed that, that I was able to get these for Christmas through his generosity. And even though he's gone, he, he's not gone. We're, we're connected through the music and through these. So, um, you know, I'm really blessed today to be able to do this review for you guys. Uh, have something I'm so passionate about in my hobby, the connection to my family, to be able to relay that to you through my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for all the friendships. Thank you for the awesome comments. The, the, uh, you know, I mentioned before uh, at the beginning of the video, the trolls and the and naysayers and the haters, so what? You know, this is my hobby, my passion. I invest my money, my time, my friendships with you guys. And, and it's not about reviews, it's about sharing what works, what doesn't work for me, and hopefully that can, can, can open your eyes to some things that you guys wanna do. I love answering questions, and I love it when you guys give me advice too that, that, that's, that's uh, constructive, okay? So with that being said, we're gonna be reviewing the Timeless 7 Hertz on the next video. I have an upgraded cable coming for that as well, but we're gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna AB and let you know if the cable even made a difference on IEMs, I'm not sure. I'm sure they will and so, to some uh, 
I don't know as much as these. We're going to see. I'm very curious about that. Maybe the stock cable is great and I didn't need to upgrade. But anyway, that video is going to be about that. This is not going to become a headphone channel. However, I share fuses, fuse upgrades with you guys, right? And power conditioners and DACs and turntables and whatever it is. If I get into some headphone purchases, I'm going to share that. If I get an upgraded uh, DAC dongle, I'm going to share that. Just whatever comes through my system, whether it's computer, mobile, the big rig, I'm going to share it with you because that's what the hobby is about, right? So uh, with that, guys, thank you so much for listening. Sorry if it was a long video, and I hope you enjoyed my interpretation and impression of these. Maybe yours will be different. If it is, please share. If you have any advice for me on these, please share. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, uh, happy holidays, happy new year, Merry Christmas. We made it through it and on to a new year in 2022, and it's going to be amazing. Bye-bye.